And it's time now for us to take you for a bit of a spin, a bit of a ride. Where are we taking you today on AM on Wheels, the Lejokuku constituency? And we'll be hearing from constituents on what their pertinent issues are. Standing by on the ground, Sweetie Abochi, uh, my co-host. Sweetie, if you can hear me, what have been these interactions? What do you have to share with us? Specifically, are the community-based health um, and planning services, popularly known as the CHIPS compound. Um, the situation here is that this facility, since it was built, um, completed somewhere in 2016-17, it hasn't been open for public use yet. I'm here with some residents of Lejokuku, specifically in the Teshinungwa um, enclave, and they... This is a citizen's microphone, so I'm going to hear the story as is from the mouth of one of the residents of this place. Good morning, madam. Thank you for joining us. We know that this place was built for the community and due to some circumstances, which is coming out as a party place for NDC and NPP, it is not open yet for public use. What is the story behind this facility as you know it? I would like to express, express myself well in our, our local language. Um, cheap compound ne is under honorable sena sena redeem na ama he wo npa by npat be an ak fa yc office ni wole ak e wo city npa force wa hu ni sani aji e je me koni cheap compound e man be fa ni ya kucho na mi e na he se ja ke kam tu in general ke te a hu te bi bi an ok ni bi e cheap compound ko be bi e ni hospital ko be bi e ni please hold on so she's saying that um, this place was built for the community. The only hospital um, here is Lekma, right? And this was built to augment the services that Lekma Hospital provides to the community. So this is the only chips compound they have in the entire constituency. Go on. Yeah. No, hey, well, two weeks ago, eh, city MPFA, John Markeshin, Ebag Belena, Beni Bafeni, Bekebi. Ke <laughs> A bad naked, but nibby naked, but fair free screening now. Fair health insurance free now. Fair a BNFA. Yeme ni to lie. Nisana men come a bad health insurance. Men come a bad B. Nibanya na me fair health insurance. It was city MP. Hana fell a free. Benny Baff any many beme. Nibawa me na Baff and I can be a family bana. He say, I can order from above. What let him in? I can order from above. Edge. Okay, so two weeks ago, the sitting MP um, wanted to open, yes, wanted to open this place up for community use, but um, some policemen came to lock the place up, and they say it is order from above. She says that she knows that the MP is passionate about this facility because of the services that um, it's ante they are anticipating that it will provide and the help it will provide to the community residents. But as we speak, it's been locked for because. According to her, um, the police said it is order from above. But before we come back to you, we are also joined by some members of the NPP and NDC, an assembly member, um, party communicators. Please join me. You can now all join the conversation now. This issue is not about parties anymore. It's about the community. We know that this facility was built for the people. Regardless of your party's affiliations, what is the situation? Why has this facility been locked up as we speak? When we know that there are equipments in there, the place has been, you know, uh, you know, well equipped to start providing some services to the people. What is the situation? What is stopping this place from being open up for the citizens? Uh, it's a very big question. Yeah. It's a political question. Yeah, yeah uh, I'm, I'm, I'm set at all. Concerned chairman of the NDC. Like you already indicated, this facility has been completed way back 2016. I think it's a, it was constructed from the dashes made from appointees under John Mama. And so it was well completed. The allegation out there is that it's not well lighted. You can see electric, all electrical addition has been actually connected to the national grid. That's the matter there. Uh, since 2000, 2016, when the NDC lost power, 
this facility has been abandoned. It's actually been handed over to the health directorates. They were operating here as a weighing centre. And so it was open at some point and operated, uh, operating as a weighing centre. And this regime, and this regime, they handed over to election, election, actually the EC, okay. the Electoral Commission, mm -hmm. to be using this place venue as office, the assembly man together with the community for them to ensure that they move the Electoral Commission from this venue. So the uh, Municipal Health director, director, she wrote to the Member of Parliament to help uh, secure equipment to operationalize this place. I think I have copies of it on my phone. The MP, in a very passionate way, supplied, supplied the said equipment. The municipal health director invited the MP to an opening ceremony. You know, the MP has been going around conducting health screening exercises across the constituency in all the 12 electoral areas. So the MP decided that, okay, then they should add the health screening exercise to this particular venue so that on the day of the health screening exercise, the municipal health director can conduct its operation to open this place. And we, as we speak, the MP provided four electronic beds. Are they in there right now? Yeah, with the uh, uh, help the retreats. All the related equipment, medicine equipment, we have a uh, photocopy machine, we have lab equipment, we have other poly tank, and uh, in fact, air condition. They used, we used to have an air condition here. When they, they actually left the place, one of the unit committee members of the MPP has taken the air condition to his house. Uh, so uh, these are the you know this this is a facility which is fully completed. It's fully completed, handed over to the health directorate. It's only left to its operationalization. Uh, who must operationalize it? Is the duty of the government together with the assembly. The MP has provided all the necessary equipment, and that must be done. I'll come back to you. You are communicating for the government, the MPP and certain government. They are saying that you are the ones orchestrating this blockage. You are the ones, you are the, you're, pl you're playing some sort of games with the people. What is your story from your point of view and why is this facility locked up as we speak and not open for the public? I, mean, I feel very sad. My house is just a stone throw away from here. Please introduce yourself first. I'm Wisdom Donko, the MPP constituency secretary and also a member of government. So you can imagine a government that is concerned about the health of its people. We cannot lock this place up. We can never do But it's locked. Madam, let me give you the story. As he said, governance is the own... Please allow him to get his points through. Allow him to get his points through. Governance is an ongoing business. So even the previous government says something, that's something and you come you come and continue you see all these walls and even the ceiling electrical works were done by the mpp government the former mp honorable dr bernardo Koboy. this building was there true when we came but all these auxiliary things were not there as at the time that it was used for weighing however when you have some projects coming up and there's an agency you try to push it up we live in a community or a constituency where the challenges are enormous. At a point in time, the assembly, which necessarily not be the MPP government, but the assembly thought it was that one of government agencies had a challenge whereby they gave it out. But that same assembly, as at last year, relocated that agency to move and contracted a contractor to why why did they why did they ask the assembly to move the no, that's as i said governments is a continuous process there were some challenges and certain things to be made as you look at the walls they are freshly painted it is painted by the assembly it should tell you that the assembly a true government is in a process to open this thing up for whatever happened for whatsoever happened all everyone in this community will hear that the member of parliament has done posters that he has built a project and he's coming to commission a commissioning that he was invited to but the health director herself unfortunate as a public servant that you cannot be a health director whereby you are aware that the government which the assembly had given contracts for the place to be renovated and you go ahead to say that you are coming to commission something then the municipal chief executive asks the health director that has the place been, as we speak get into the night this place is still light out there's no electricity in it because the assembly has not. But he just said that the electricity is. It is assembly which has just done. But as we speak, I can still. There is no light. It is now being fixed. It is now being fixed. All we are telling the people of Kamtu. All we are telling the people of Kamtu. 
that we can assure them in the shortest possible time, not less than two months to come, they will see this place being operationalized. Hold on. I'm it's not a biscuit shop. Wait, I'll come back to you. So I want to talk to the residents. Madam, please come. Madam, okay, are you a resident? All right. So we have some community members. We've heard from both the MPP and the NDC, but we have the residents here themselves, and we want to understand. Now, the, the certain government is saying that they are working to open the place. NDC, you know, are saying that this place was operational. They've even used it for uh, as a weighing center, and it was the certain government, the NPP specifically, that came to lock it up for their own reasons. Was this place operational? Did you see lights and other facilities, AC, well equipped to accommodate residents and provide the services that it is built to provide? And why do you think or do you know that it was locked up? Tell us your story. All right, so uh, I'm a resident of this community. Uh, at first, what I know is that this building has been in existence, but it wasn't its auxiliary and everything wasn't added to it. Okay, so what we know as a constant is that for a fact, regardless of what the MPP and ADC are doing, is that when uh, this building was being used by the uh, Electoral Commission some time ago, uh, but what we heard was that, what we got to know that it's a chips, chips compound. So we started asking questions that, why is that a chips compound? It is being occupied by... Hello, we need to hear your stories. Please, let's, 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 let's be cordial. Yes, so what we heard is that, uh, we started asking questions that, why is it a chips compound that is being occupied by an agency which is not under the health? So we got to realize that that agency has been moved out from here. And what we know is that the, uh, the agency or this place is going to be added up for it to run its chips compound. Now, the time we realized, we said that we had the member of parliament coming to commission the place. Frankly speaking, as a resident, I was very happy. So we started asking our, ourselves these questions. We started asking ourselves that if a, 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 a compound or a chips compound is going to be commissioned, meaning it should be operationalized, everything is coming to happen. There are nurses coming. There are uh, uh, materials coming up. Nurses are coming. Doctors are coming. Everything is going to be added up for it to be commissioned. But what we got to realize from the assembly was that this uh, project, okay, this this uh, this project hasn't been handed over over to them. Everything hasn't been done. So on the day of commission, we had scaffolds and a whole lot of things going on politically. So we started resting, asking ourselves questions and trying to find out the truth of this matter. And for a fact, as a concerned citizen or as a resident, and what I know is that if something is going to be commissioned, then that thing is going to be operationalized. All right, I'll come back to you. But as we speak, we just saw that the gate has been unlocked. So Exa Hello, gentlemen. Who unlocked the gates right now? Okay, so you have the key. How can you get the key? Wait, hold on. He's not I did. He, that is not your problem. It's not your problem. No, how can you have the key? It's lawlessness. It's lawlessness. It's lawlessness. So, so, this is lawlessness. Let's go inside and see for ourselves. Let's go. You hold key to government for us. Why? 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 This is. Why? Why? We are trying to see for ourselves if the place is fully equipped and ready for use and why it's been locked. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, gentlemen. Right. So, you are the one who opened the gate. Please, come. Come. Were you here when the place was locked? Yes, I was here. What were the reasons that were given? For the place? What is the way forward? I don't know. I don't know who locked it. Come again. Uh, my name is Eric Ayi Odonko, immediate assembly member for the area. Immediate pass. Immediate pass, yeah. Um, I don't know who locked the place. And actually, I don't know what is going on. Because last time I heard that there was a kiosk here <laughs> about commission. And then time, I was the assembly member. Because the current assembly member was not swear in. So if something like so, they should have contacted me or they should call me. Because I'm the member of the area. For me also to have an idea what is going on. 
but nothing of that sort. As we speak now, I was in the house, you can see, I'm in the black. I'm going for much. Understand? And I was called upon, and I need to flash here and see what is going on. That is why you see me here. So, what? Well, it appears that the residents are very angry. But let's see if we can help them restore some calm. So we continue the conversation. Ladies, ladies. Hello, 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 hello. hello. Listen, the purpose, the purpose of this gathering is so that we understand the way forward. So please, I understand that you're upset, but we need to we need to find a way forward. That is why we have both parties here. If you say this is just party games, let's understand. Okay, that raising your voices and screaming at each other will not solve the problem. All right. So the assemblyman was making a point that he just left office. He didn't understand why this place was locked up, and he said that they said it was sold but you don't have any evidence of that do you come again did you say it was sold okay what points were you making before we came in the point i'm trying to make is we, we try to renovate this place but we have not finished to hand over the keys to the health directors so i was there the last time i heard there was something going on here that the mp want to commission the place and there was misunderstanding between the both parties that is MPP and DC and when it comes to commission such a project it's the responsibility of the MC to do that if what they are claiming that the M MP is coming to commission this place and our people are preventing, preventing them from doing that they should contact the MC because it is the responsibility or the end, uh, the MC is the one who's supposed to do the thing. So you confirm that so you confirm that there was a renovation. Hold on. Hold on. So was there so you are confirming that there was actually a renovation? Yes. When was this? Come again. When was the renovation? Oh, um if I could recall about somewhere it wasn't a You can see a innovator. Look at the place. Please. When you were talking, I didn't talk. So don't interrupt. You know, you know, you know, listen to me. You you have not been able to tell when the innovator. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to say anything that go out and it's not true. This locks. You. The locks are locked. You know me and you were fighting for this place. Uh huh. So if we are fighting. tell me that this place is not renovated. We were fighting. No, 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 no. But you know that the place is being renovated. For whatever, for, for whatever it's worth, he's the immediate past assemblyman. Let him have his say, and then we'll come back to you. Yes, I understand. But let him finish. Let him finish his point, and then we come to you. All right. So what I want the old Lejokuku or the old uh, word know that. It is the responsibility of the MC to do the commission, not the MP. You see, they are getting it wrong. It's not about commissioning the place. The place has already been commissioned in 2016. And the only problem, and it was handed over to the health directorate, and they started using the place. But they said they need equipment to keep the place in full operational. When it gets in there, there are a maternity wards, there are a female and male wards. Inside the please let me finish. Please let me finish. Exactly. The, the problem as a health directorate was the facilities or the best and thing to start the place running. The, uh, the health director has written to the assembly for the assembly to provide the equipment. The assembly has not been able to do it. The uh, same health directorate have written to Honorable Dr. Koboy when he was the deputy, please let me finish, when he was the deputy minister of health, the place was...